Hi, welcome back to the Guillemot Kayak Shop. I'm Nick Shada. We're continuing work on the Micro Bootlegger Sport Strip Built Sea Kayak. We're done sanding for a little while. I'm going to do staining today. So my plan is to mask off those pin stripes I put the epoxy on yesterday and then wet the whole thing down with stain and see how it looks. So I've gone back and forth on my process for staining this. My original thought, since it's a little bit awkward to get all the way down with the boat upright, all the way down to the water line, that I'd take the hull off, put it on its own set of forms, and the deck off, you know, the deck right side up, and the hull upside down so everything's easily accessible. I looked at the boat on these V cradles when it was right side up and saw that it might, shouldn't be that hard to get down to the water line. So what I want to do is mask off the bottom of the boat. So when I splash this thing around, I really splash it around. I can make it a little bit of a mess. Um, with this alcohol-based stain, you've got to move fast, and so I tend to be a little sloppy. Um, so I want to make sure that the places I don't want stain don't get stained. So to that end, I want to get the the bottom of the boat well masked off. My plan is to put some masking tape on it. If you remember me putting on the waterline stripe here, I've got a light strip sandwiched in between two dark strips. And I did not put epoxy on this light strip on the bottom. I thought I wouldn't need it. And, you know, now that I'm looking back on it, you know, maybe I should have just done it. But my plan is to run the masking tape across the light strip barely onto the dark strip and then rub that in well and any bleeding that will happen with the um, stain which is alcohol based stain really bleeds in under things will hopefully stop by the time it gets to the white strip if if I'm wrong on that I might have to come in and touch it up with a little bit of sandpaper I want a masking tape from just in this case below the white strip up onto the light part of the boat then make sure the rest of the bottoms protect. I'm actually going to start with a wide piece of just blue tape up here above this line um, and then I'm going to come back with the fine line tape that I used yesterday and put that overlapping the white strip onto the blue tape and by having that blue tape down first and then the fine line when I have it right side up it'll be like sort of clabbers and any stain that wants to run down will not run under the tape. You know, shouldn't run under the tape anyways, but just to be doubly sure. So that's my plan. So I've got a couple strips of masking tape protecting the bottom. Here's the accent stripe where I want the color change to be complete. Um, I've got a dark accent above and a dark accent below. My plan is to run the fine line tape right along the, what's now the bottom edge of this dark strip. And there might be some bleeding in under this tape. That's okay um, because it's already dark and the relative contrast won't be that noticeable. So getting this right lined up with that edge. I'm going to burnish down this edge, make sure it's well stuck down. I'm tucking a little bit of polyethylene in the cockpit hole just so I don't end up splashing stain down inside the boat. Not the end of the world if it happens. As I say, I'm a messy worker. So I've got some really narrow masking tape here, which I'm hoping will work perfectly to mask off these accent strips. So it's 16th inch wide, you know, for automotive detailing, and uh, see how it works.
So I think I'm ready to do the staining. This is always a little bit scary. There's kind of no turning back once you've done it. But however, I have sained all the stain off because I didn't like how it came out. But that's a major hassle. Um, the stain's not all that thick, so it is possible to sand off. But let's try to avoid that. This is an alcohol-based stain. It's the same stain I used on the combing. It's hard to get on because since it's alcohol-based, the solvent evaporates very quickly. It's not like an oil-based stain where you can leave it there all day and come wipe off the excess later. This, you got to get it on quickly and spread it out, keep your rag wet. So what I'll do is do my best to get an even coat on it. But then after I've got it all on, I'll come back with a wet rag soaked in denatured alcohol. Again, it's an alcohol-based stain, so the denatured alcohol will help it flow out. And so I'll go over the whole boat, wiping it down with a really wet alcohol-soaked rag. And I'll use that to even out the coating and spread it around. But again, you want to maintain a wet edge as you move down. Any place where it dries, it tends to leave a little halo. You've seen, you know, sort of coffee stains. Um, the, the dark stuff all propagates to the edge of the wet spot. Um, same with this. With the stain, you put alcohol on, you know, if I had this all stained out and then I put my rag down in one spot and let it dry around that edge, that edge will tend to get a little halo or a perimeter around it, which is not the look we're going for. It's a matter of trying to keep it all wet as we move down, so I'm going to try and move pretty quickly just so I can get as even a coat as possible and then I know that first stain coat won't be all that even so again I'll come back with a wet rag and wipe it all down again. So with several pairs of gloves on I can peel pair off if I need to grab something um, and still have another pair on when I, when I need to continue with the staining. With more than one pair on if one ruptures there's another set under it. I'll give that a try. This is the same stain I used before on the uh, cockpit recess. Again, it's an alcohol-based stain. I've had very good luck with it as far as being out in the sun on a boat. It doesn't fade. If you leave the boat out for a long time out in the sun on the roof of your car, it will fade eventually. But there are some stains that just don't have the longevity. This seems to last quite well. I've got boats that are very old and been out in the sun a lot and still look great. For a rag, I'm just using a ripped up old sheet. I want something that'll hold the stain and spread it out. I'm probably gonna grab a little bit more of this. Again, this is an old sheet and um, that piece might be a little small as far as holding enough stain. I think I just double that up. So I'll just take my bottle of stain, pour some on here and start spreading it on. Keep the wag, rag really wet. Come right down to the tape. I'm going to go immediately to the alcohol while the stain is still somewhat wet. As you see, it, you know, it goes on pretty blotchy, um, but it's not super dry right now. It's just recently applied and you know, dry enough that it doesn't spread anymore, but with a little bit of alcohol to loosen it up, we'll be able to even it out a bit. I really want this soaked. So that's a coat of stain right there. Um, next, I'll peel off the masking tape and uh, see how that looks. But all I can do right now is let it dry.
So I think that's it for today. It looks like the masking came out pretty well. There's a few places where the stain seeped in under the tape, but I think it was between the tape and the epoxy, so I think I can scrape that right off the surface of the epoxy and it'll be left with a nice, clean, bright white line. So it's, I think it's looking pretty hot. So the next thing after this is fiberglassing. But until then, if you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you're watching this whole series and enjoy it, please hit subscribe. Again, my Patreon supporters do see these videos about a week before the general public. So if you're impatient and want to see what's coming up next, go over to Patreon and chip in a buck or so and you'll be able to see what's going on. Every bit of support really helps. I really appreciate it. So until the next episode, thanks for watching and happy paddling.